There she goes. Look what we have over here. Look at that. What do you guys think of that? Go. We ordered some chips. These are going to be meat birds. They're Cornish hens. This, I think, is probably a uh, leg, leghorn, a white leghorn. They put a little green on their head to mark them differently because they look so much like the others. They come in the mail, and it's very important to get them a drink of water when they get here. They were hatched yesterday, and they can live for three days on the yolk sac that's kind of in their stomach right after they hatch. And that's why it's safe to mail them. And they come to the post office, and we go get them early in the morning. And we unpack them, we make sure they get a drink, which is just dipping their beak in the water and then making sure they... They kind of go like this with their beak and tip their head up a little bit so that water slides down their neck. And I got some chick feed here for them. Chicks need to be kept very warm. And we have a setting hen right now. I'm not sure if her eggs are going to hatch. They look kind of dirty, like a, an egg has broken and kind of got on them. So I don't know if those eggs are going to hatch. But it, it takes 21 days for chicks to hatch. And it's been about that since I noticed she was sitting. And when, here's a little white, as I ordered five white leghorns and five assorted white egg layers. So I don't know what kind this is. This, if they have a few left over, they set them in there, I guess. We get them from Hoover's Hatchery in Rudd, Iowa, and we live in Kansas. So it's pretty good to, for the post office, the mail, to get them here so quickly. But if they're cold, they'll all get in a little bunch and and they can suffocate each other because they, they want to be warm and they're all trying to bunch up and get the warmest and then they just kind of crowd each other and somebody gets too crowded. But these seem to be running around. Okay, that means that they're comfortable. If they were cold, they'd all get in a little bunch and just huddle together. You know, see, sometimes we put them on the hen in here. She has so that she can hatch her eggs in here. And these are old waterers. These glass bottoms were some my grandpa had. And my mom was, they were her dad's. And she was born in 1922. And he had these, so she, they're pretty old. So anyway, they're running around, and I got some chip crumbles for them. And this is the box they come in. It's got air holes in it, air holes in the top, and it's divided so that they can't squish each other as much. Not to squish them. So they look pretty good. You might just shut the door. Wish you could film the door there. I need to fix that. The sheep did that. Well, it was two left. I know, two left the sheep. Blessings, Mom, did that. I need to pack that or something. And now we need to finish the rest of our chores because we were just in town running around. So I said that I wanted to shear the half-grown lambs we have that were born late last year. But I want to give them baths before we shear them because they are so muddy. They're so dirty and muddy and well as dried mud now. Well, our thinking is we're going to give them a bath and then pin them in here with these sheep. And let them dry off and then shear them. Well, yesterday, Teacup pinned herself up. You did that. So basically, I was feeding the barn sheep while the outdoor sheep, hello, hello Sonic, were turned out. 
And then all of a sudden, a bunch of sheep came running home. Guys, that's not a bottle. That's a phone. And Teacup just came and jumped in. So I'm like, okay, girl, you pinned yourself up. So she's been hanging out in here. I'm going to try to give her a bath today. Sonic, these lambs just want all the attention. But in here, I told her, I'm like, Teacup, Sonic and Shadow are now your adoptive little brothers because I bottle feed them just like I bottle fed you. So they are your adoptive little brothers. Also in here are Amaze and SJ. They are your full biological little brothers because their mommy and daddy is your mommy and daddy. So yeah, she's oh, pinned yeah. up in here now. Hey guys. And she'll stay in here until we get her sheared. Yay. I was able to get Teacup her bath. Doesn't she look pretty? She's a pretty sheep. And then there's this. Um, we're going to maybe try to give her a second bath because you see on her kind of hind end area there's still a lot of dirt. Can get that off. Hellos. I always have a following of sheep. It's just always sheep. Hello, Shadow. <laughs> Shadow, he wants his bottle, except Grammy fed you so you don't get fed by mommy. He's big. Hi. Um, then yesterday, I also caught Blossom and pinned her up. Hi, Blossom. How is Blossom? So when Blossom and her twin sister Rose were born, I don't remember why, but I was texting my brother. Hi, girl. And I asked him for name suggestions for two little girl sheep. And he texted back Rose and Blossom. Oh, Valentine, she just jumped on me. And all I could think when he texted back Rose and Blossom was, That's my sister-in-law! My brother would not suggest such nice names. He would text back something like blood and guts. Valentine. So. Hi. Oh my. I'm surrounded. Ah, I'm going down. Sheep. But yeah, there's just sheep everywhere. And she's a fluffy little friendly thing. Guys. Guys. Well, we got Teacup her second bath. Hey, Teacup. Isn't she pretty? And we got Blossom her first bath. Hello, Blossom. Then there's Sonic. Hi, Sonic. And Shadow. When Shadow lost his tail, he's growing up so fast. Look at those boys. Look at their face. Their face is happy. Oh, Sonic, don't eat my shirt, buddy. Hi, Hale. Hi. Oh, there's just the nice little sheeps all over the place. Well, last night I turned, I turned Mary and her two boys out. Not so muddy. That's her grandson. No, her great-grandson. It's your great-grandson. Oh, hello. So this way. Hi. They can be, oh, be nice. They can be outside. Hey, why is everyone chewing on me? The sheep are obsessed with me. But yeah, so she can be outside now. Hello. I raised you. I raised you. Happy sheep.
We have just turned Carnation out with the other sheep. So she can go graze now. Her foot's better, so she doesn't need to be pinned up anymore. So she can enjoy her time out here, the fat little girl. Hi, Lammies! Uh, what we have here is Gopher. He's our ram. One of his hooves is bothering him, so we pinned him in here. That way we can give him shots, because there's really no way for me to catch him on a consistent basis outside. Um, but we gave him a shot of penicillin yesterday, and we're going to give him one this afternoon, so they'll be about 24 hours apart. That way, hopefully, we can get his foot feeling better, because he's a big baby. He is a big sheep. He's pretty nice, though. He's only, he's never actually hurt me. He's threatened a couple of times, but, I mean, that's after, like, a year of having him, so it's not like he's done it enough to really, like, think he's mean. I don't think he's mean. I think he just, I don't know how close he'll let me get, but he kind of has, like, this weird horn in the center of his head. Like a, like a really curly unicorn horn. So we got Blossom her second bath. Did we do that? Oh, and now she wants to pet. And she wants to be petted. And watch this. Come on. See, she wags her tail. She and her big brother Teddy both do that. And I just have lambs all over the place. You're a baby. Oh, hi, Gopher. Like I said, he's nice, but I still keep an eye on Still don't turn my back on him too much. Sonic! Sonic, but these are all his kids. Well, not the adult moms. Then we also, we got Brixie a bath. Did we do that, Brixie? Did we give you a bath? She's a sweetie. She's my Kimberly's little sister. Are you Kimberly's baby sister? My nephew's got to see you be born. The reason her name is Brixie is because she has a twin brother whose name is Lego. So, like, Lego Bricks. Oh my gosh, Goliath, don't get out. Goliath's video bombing you. Bricksy trying to escape his pen. Don't do that, Goliath. He pretty. Hey, Gopher. She pretty little nice sheep. Yes, you nice. And there's Sonic, always wanting to be by me. And this is... Hail! He was choking yesterday, but he's okay now. I never know what to do when they choke besides just watch them. I don't want to mess things up worse. We had some use that used to choke all the time. It was not fun to watch. But I'd just pray for them the whole time and eventually they'd be okay. Is that true? Is that true? He knows. Okay. Little sheeps. But yeah, maybe we'll try to shear Teacup and Blossom later. Blossom is still damp. But yeah, they're good sheeps. Hi, so I would like to show you an item that is currently listed in our Etsy shop. So this is a casserole holder. It, it's made of fabric. It's sewn. It has um, insole bright in here so you don't burn your fingers. You can kind of hear it crackle maybe. So this item is listed as coral and blueprint casserole holder. The description says this coral and blueprint 30 by 6 inch casserole holder has two layers of insole bright in each end, making it great for removing hot pans from the oven. So it ships in one business day, and the shipping is free. Um, it's $15. So that's this. I also want to say this item is included until July 18th, 2022. We have a 10% discount in our shop. So the discount would apply to this item, which is if you use the code Lucky Lamb with all capitals, you can get 10% off of your purchase.